there, in this tutorial uh, I'm going to show you how to use Keynote to kind of do a replica of the Wheel of Impressions that uh, Jimmy Fallon does on his show, like you see here with the Impression Generator. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and launch Keynote and just start with a regular black uh, kind of widescreen template here. I'm going to zoom out to about 25% to make sure I can see kind of what I'm doing uh, while I'm creating this. So I'm going to go ahead and get my title up there and change the color to yellow. Now I'm going to want to go ahead and add a little bit of clip art. Uh, so in this case, I'm just adding some shapes, kind of a border, kind of mimicking the border around the actual generator itself. Um, it is an advanced gradient fill, so I'm kind of putting a little bit of shading on there, doing a little white on the center, and then a little gray on the edges uh, to kind of give it that kind of chromey looking feel. And what I'm going to do is just copy and paste that exact kind of shaded rectangle there into multiple spots on my slide. Um, Go ahead and put a top, a bottom, a border. Uh, then I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and show you that I also am going to have kind of a blue version of the exact same thing behind the Game Show Generator logo. Uh, then use a black box to, of course, black out uh, kind of what you, what you uh, see there with the blue line. Bring that to the front. And now we have our little opening template. I'm going to go ahead and create my two topics because we're going to have two topics that are spinning at the same time. So in this case, I'm just putting topic one and topic two. Of course, they could be anything or any category you want. And I'm going to go ahead and add a bottom border to this to kind of frame it a little bit. And now here's where the magic happens. So I'm going to uh, create a little window to which the words will be flying kind of behind the scenes. So I'm going to first create a large, a rather large rectangle that will actually fill up the one half of the screen there, most of the half of the screen. And then I'm going to create another rectangle. And uh, this is going to be my window. So I'm going to make it a different color so you can see it. And then selecting both items, I click on the Arrange button in Keynote and then hit the Subtract tool. And you'll see that it now subtracted that rectangle. So now there's just a clear window for it to view through. I'm going to copy and paste those two items and color them both black to match the background and then move them to the back. And now I've created my kind of two magical view windows, if you will. And now that I have my view windows, I'm going to go ahead and create my word lists. These will be the lists that fly up and down through the kind of window. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see. You can make these lists as long as you want. Uh, there's probably a limit at some point. You don't want to have hundreds of these. Um, but once you create your uh, word list, you can kind of put your items in there. Make sure they're fairly evenly spaced so you don't see one item to the other in the little viewing window, which of course you could always resize later. And then I always leave a little bit of space at the top and at the bottom of these lists so that the windows appear to be empty at first uh, before the actual animation of the uh, revolving words, if you will. So there we go, I got my list, I'm moving it to the back. I can easily copy and paste this, of course. Um, but first what I'm gonna wanna do is I like, I don't really like the blue color there, so I'm gonna choose another gradient. I'm gonna use the radial advanced gradient tool and kind of give it kind of a white center with a little bit of a gray edge to it. Um, this will kind of give it kind of a little bit more of a game showy feel, uh, similar to Jimmy's on his show. So now I'm gonna go ahead and Group all those together, copy, paste them over, and move them to back. And my final step uh, before I'm finished is to make sure that I can animate both of these as well so that they fly kind of up and down at the same time. So for that, I'm just going to zoom out fully to 25% and then kind of select the one list on the left, make sure it has a, the, action, the animate action move that it's going from top to bottom. Select the word list on the right, do the same thing, only it's going to go from bottom to top. Make sure those happen at the same time. And then for a little bonus, I'm going to have a little uh, sound effect here that I'll add that I'm going to have actually play just a couple of seconds before the other animations begin. And we'll give this a test run and see how it works. Okay, that was way too fast, so I'm going to actually slow down my moves a little bit here. I'm going to actually make them about three seconds per and see if that works a little bit better. All right, now let's see how that works. Sound effect. Nice. Perfect. So that is how you make a game show generator uh, using Keynote. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe below.